All right, guys, so I'm here with... What's up? I'm Tanay. I'm Nick. Yes, guys, our Arsenal have officially won the game 5-0. Yes, I know. Today's a, bit, today's a bit of a a party day. I mean, not a lot of analysis needed. Unfortunately, we lost the league, but tell me how you feel about the game overall feeling. Look, I think it was important to have a good win here. Mm -hmm. I think it was important to just, like, end the season on a, on a vibe. You know, I think... We want to roll into next. Like, we, we've, but what we did this season is show everyone that we are a big team. Yeah, we're able to compete. We're able to compete, and we are going to continue to compete. Mm -hmm. So we had to end the way, end the season in a way that a big team does. Right, we had to roll into summer. City have lost, by the way. Have they really? City have lost one nil in the last. Fuck minute. City. Fuck them. <laughs> actually, actually, kind of annoys me because if we hadn't fucked this up mid-season, uh, maybe things would have. Yeah, anyway, been no really point, possible. here's the thing. There's no point thinking about this dumb shit about like what could have happened or whatever we are obviously a great team we looked good and the thing is i think we can see here and and before when we are on our game and we're playing well we're fucking we are really goddamn good right and, and i think we need to remember that and make sure we know we are really fucking good well, you, also, you, know? you think about like what we set out to do when we started this season it wasn't it winning, wasn't winning the league's time. always the dream but it was let's get let's get champions league let's fucking do better than last year let's improve and that's what we did we got out we got the job done I was hoping for 6 0 today. That was a good prediction. Yes, sir. Your prediction was so close. So close. He predicts it's 6 0. Wow, that we got even close. Wow, that we got even It's beautiful to see Jacques getting sent off in such a great way. So, yeah, it's been, it was a great day. Great end of the season. Uh, great things to come. You know, we got the best young manager in the world. It's going to be, it's, it's all uphill from here. We have the second youngest squad in the Premier League, right? And it's 84 points. Right now, the second youngest squad. There's a lot to come. A lot to come. So how would you guys overall rate it from 1 to 10 rate this season? Because I think this season has been a plus. I think we've found out a lot about certain players. We've seen the development of a lot of young players. So how would you guys rate this season overall, 1 to 10? I mean, realistically, it's a 9, you know? Probably it's a, the it's best season we've had in years, in little years. season we've had since 2005, Literally. 2004, re realistically. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. A, t a perfect 10 of a season has to be winning it. But, I mean, we got to be, a, I would say higher. i say 9.999, you know. We are as close to what we wanted to do as we did. We achieved what we set out to do. And I could be more proud of the guys. So yeah. before you guys, before I let you guys go, one, one player this season. Uh, that's actually a tough one. I know it is. I know it is. Uh, ooh, I'm going to say Odegaard. We're not, we're, not what we, we're not what we are now without Odegaard. Big Bakayo Saka. I agree with you. My player this season as well has to be Odegaard. But Bakayo Saka definitely had a brilliant season. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys for showing so love. Thank you, man. Thank you guys so much. For showing me so much love. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next one.